Hey guys, what's up? Power up boxing, and it looks like we have a fight of a year, fight of the year candidate before the fight even happens. And I can be confident in saying that because the two fighters that will be fighting is Lucas the Machine Matisse and Ruslan the Siberian Rocky Pravnikov. So you know, you know what we're gonna get. We're gonna get. At least, it's going to be in the least, the top five fight of the, fights of the year. It's going to be in the top five, if not the top fight of the year. Because both these guys are just beasts. Both these guys got power. Uh, and uh, as for who's going to win this fight, this is a tough one to call because... It's probably going to end probably in Nako. If it doesn't, like, like, and I don't mean Nako, like, flat out knocked out. I mean, like, the ref's probably going to stop it and someone's going to get awarded the TKO. That's what's probably going to happen. Because if it does last 12 rounds, both of these guys are just going to look like, like, uh, just going to look like lunch meat. Their face is going to look all, it's going to be, they're going to get messed up because I just can't. Like, if this fight does go 12 rounds, like I said, it's hard to see what they're going to look like at the end of the 12th because before, cause you would think the ref would stop it. But, uh, yeah, so there's a, there's a high outcome of this fight ending in a TKO for either fighter. You look at Ruslan Pervanikov, uh, 31 years old, 5'6", 66 inch reach. You really don't even need to look at that stuff because both these guys are just brawlers, really. And they're not going to really try to use... Like, sure, I guess the reach will help them, but really, they kind of... They want to get close and tee off on each other, so I don't think that's going to be as important, the reach and the height and stuff. It's just going to come down to the wills, really. And... Bruce Humper, Bonnikov, 24 and 3, uh, 17 knockouts, 60, almost 63% knockout percentage. That's a good knockout percentage. And then you got Lucas Matisse. He is, uh, hold on a sec. He, he is, come on, box rec. Thought I had it opened already. Come on, box rec. Okay, he is 32 years old, 5'6 and a half. So about the same height they are. He is he has a better reach though than Ruslan by a three inches, 69 inch reach. Um, but like I said, it won't even it's not gonna come down to that. Uh, but Lucas Matisse has a way higher KO percentage. 36 wins, 34 knockouts, three defeats. They both got three defeats each. Uh, and uh, Lucas Matisse, 85% knockout percentage. So it's safe to say Lucas Matisse has more one-punch knockout power, but Ruslan's punches are hard as well. They're like a sledgehammer. Like, you see that guy hit the bag. It's crazy. Uh, uh, his left hooks are really dangerous uh, when I seen uh, Ruslan hit the bag. But as for Lucas Matisse, I haven't seen that much training uh, for a uh, training video for this camp that he's having because not many people, I don't know, I just can't, uh, I guess he's training in Argentina really and you can't really find that much stuff. But I did find some videos and I'll leave it in the link description below of him training and as well as uh, Ruslan Pravanigov training. But so Lucas Matisse's got the harder punch probably the harder he has the one ko more one ko punch power but they both got power so it's uh ruslan pravonikov's the kind of guy he's like a bully he breaks you down with hard punches he just pummels you until you he breaks you mentally and physically and gets a tko win lucas matisse has that punch power where he can knock you out with one punch more so the edge for uh, KO power, definitely Lucas Matisse. They both got, they both hit hard though. If you're going to say what guy is mentally stronger, 
it's hard, really hard to say, but if I had to pick, I'd probably pick Ruslan Pravodnikov because Ruslan Pravodnikov's just, the guy's a beast. Like, the guy will keep on coming at you. So, I just don't see Ruslan Pravodnikov breaking mentally unless he gets, the ref stops it or, or uh, he just gets knocked out cold. So, if I had to pick, I would say Lucas Matisse would fold first if I had to pick. But both guys are mentally strong. Uh, both guys are physically strong. Uh, Strength-wise, they're both probably like around equal. Um, Ruslan Pervodinkov looks more compact. Looks more uh, like more, uh, what do you, yeah, like more, what's that word I'm looking for? More stocky. Lucas Matisse is more a slim kind of guy. But raw power, so I don't know. To me, this fight is gonna come down to who can take the punishment and dish out the punishment without giving up. So it's gonna be it's gonna come down to the willpower. And I think Rusan Ferbonikov has more willpower, but Lucas Matisse has a lot of willpower too. It's hard to say. Cause Ruslan's never faced anyone like Matisse. Matisse's never faced anyone like Ferbonikov. We're going to find out. That's why it's hard to pick who's going to be the winner in this fight. So it could go either way. So I can't really pick because I like both guys. I could see Matisse winning. I could see Pervonikov winning. But if I have to pick, um, I'll go with Pervonikov just because the willpower. I, do, I just don't think Pervonikov can be broken, really. But the ref can stop it. So uh, I see... But like I said, uh, it's so it's hard to call. Um, but someone's probably going to get stopped. I can tell you that. So don't miss it. April eighteenth, nine forty-five p.m. on HBO, uh, Boxing After Dark. Dark, and you'll have Thomas, uh, Terence Crawford versus Thomas Delorme for a title on that night too. So don't miss it. It's going to be one of the best fights of the year. Power of boxing powering down.